Well, I've covered a number of elections around the world in my time, but I've never seen crowds quite like this. These people have been standing here since long before polling stations opened. It was still dark. In other places where there are single lines, I've seen queues that stretch for a kilometre or more. And despite the nervousness uh, in the run-up to the poll and at the end of campaigning, I'd say that the atmosphere amongst the crowd is pretty upbeat. Oh, I came at 7 a.m. You came at 7 a.m., so that yeah. makes it, what, three and a half hours now, about, nearly four? Yes, about four hours. Four hours, okay. And what's the mood in the queue? How are people feeling? People are motivated. We want to vote. We want to make sure that we also vote the people we, we want to be in the new leadership. This is a very calm election. I see everybody is willing to support one another. We are voting in peace so we can see how the vote will have to come. We are waiting up to evening so we can see how will it be. We do not hope for the last five years. We hope for the best. We hope for the best? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first time that Kenyans are voting under their new constitution, which came in in 2010. And it's made it quite a complicated process because these voters are being asked to cast no fewer than six different Ballots. We can see the ballot boxes over there. They're voting for local representatives, women representatives, governors, MPs, as well as, of course, the presidency. Now, those votes go into this white box here, and this is, of course, the crucial race. There are eight candidates standing, but really it's a two-horse race between the Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, and Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, Mr. Kenyatta is the son of Kenya's founding father, Jomo Kenyatta, and he's been indicted by the International Criminal Court in The Hague over his alleged role in the violence last time around. He denies the charges. He says he'll cooperate with the court, but the real key for this vote will come after the ballots have been cast and when the results are announced. The real test will be whether all sides respect the outcome or at least take their grievances to the courts rather than to the streets.